So are you guys really moving? Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you, you want? This is a beautiful city. Why would you want to live anywhere yes, else? Yes, well, I'm not saying that I dislike the city. I'm just saying that I'm a tad burnt out on it. You know, I, I, I need a little nature now and again. Yeah, Central Park isn't getting the mustard for him anymore. I don't know. Perhaps it's because I've turned 40, but I'm, I'm experiencing this enormous void in my life, and it, it needs to be filled. Hello? I got a void right here that needs to be filled. You don't seem too concerned with that. A little tact, please. Let's reduce everything into a conversation about sex. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right, honey. Thank you. Thank you. I just thought maybe if I talked about it, I might get some once in a while. <laughs> so... Has Grizzly Adams here explained to you how he plans to fill this void? Mm, no. Oh. I've purchased some land upstate. I'm going to build a log cabin on it. <laughs> You're going to build a log cabin? Mm -hmm. What are you? <laughs> From scratch. Mm -hmm. Just me, the logs, and some cutting tools. Wow. And when I'm finished, I shall retire up there and live out the rest of my days. <laughs> you retire at age 40? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> tell him about the teepee that I'm going to sleep in when I visit. This is good. Ha, 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 ha. Have you ever heard of the uh, expression <laughs> where uh, firewood warms you twice, once when you cut it and once when you burn it? I'll take now half that action. My point is simply that I'm looking forward to getting in touch with nature. I'd give you a week outside of Manhattan without your little Sunday times and your box seats at Shea, please. Oh, look, she's drunk. Again. You know what, Harry? I have to say, I know what you're saying. I feel the void. What are you talking about? What, since when do you, do you feel the void? I felt it for a while now. I just, you know, I just think we all focus on the wrong things. Like, uh, you know, clothes, money, diets, just stupid crap. And, you know, you think about our grandparents, and they went through two wars and a depression, and... You know, they had to think about where was their next meal coming from and mm -hmm. could they afford to keep the apartment heated and who was going to pay for the doctor when someone got sick? They were miserable. Well, they had a reason to be, whereas we, on the other hand, don't. I totally agree with you, Eddie. You're so full of shit. His parents grew up on Park Avenue. Once again, she misses the point completely. <laughs> oh, 